Howdy y'all, it's Chris with Shell Fitness, David Chain on the belt buckle, bringing out the guns today because we're going over the deltoid. Before we talk about it, make sure to follow us on Instagram and YouTube. Next class in La Jolla, check us out in November, Los Angeles, October. The website goes over all that information if you want to become a trainer. So let's go over this sucker right here. So deltoid's one muscle, three parts. We have the anterior, the medial or lateral, and the posterior. You're probably pretty familiar with a lot of the exercises in the gym. Front raises for the anterior part, reverse flash for the posterior. But let's talk about the origination on the delta. So the anterior portion is the lateral, lateral third of the pelvic. So there are the shoulder muscles, shoulder bones. We have the clavicle, most broken bone in your body, sternum, scapula, and the humerus. So the anterior portion is going to be right here. It originates on the lateral third of the clavicle out here. Then we have the medial, which is going to be the chromium of the scapula. So the chromial head articulates with the clavicle right here, which is the AC joint. This is the acromial head of the clavicle. The chromium of the scapula down here is where it originates the medial part. So right here. And then the posterior is the spine of the scapula on the back side. So the deltoid originates here, but inserts into the humerus all the way down about half, well, not one to half, but a third of the way down into the deltoid tuberosity. And then the actions, the anterior are going to flex, horizontally educt. They're also going to internally rotate. The medial is going to abduct. And this one's interesting because the first about 15 degrees is the supraspinatus. So if you just put your hands right here and you come back and you uh, flex your trapezius, it's going to be kind of weird, but flex, feel up by the, the scapula. And if you just go the first maybe 10, 15 degrees, you'll feel the supraspinatus kick in. The medial deltoid isn't starting to work until about 15 degrees into 90. And then the posterior is going to be extension. Horizontal abduction, a little bit of scaption, as well as external rotation. So those are the four actions in the post here. Scaption will be horizontal about 10 to 15 degrees in the transverse plane. So the posterior will be helping a little bit with that as well. So exercises that we like to do. Flexion, bench press, push-ups, chest flies, all for the anterior portion. The medial lateral raise, you don't do a lot. I prefer actually coming behind so you can get more range of motion. I saw a really cool exercise the other day. You start like right here. I'll show a new little thing that we're doing. Three cool exercises for Instagram. So you get like a block, put it right here, and just work on that part of the exercise, the dumbbell. So you're really just targeting the medial portion. And then from post here, obviously, reverse flies. Bend over reverse flies here, rear delt. I like these ones a lot as long as you hold isometrically at the end. Because here's how most people do it they come up and they rock. So I like to hold and come down super slow. Make sure to protract, get your scapulas off the back in this position. So when you're here, all the way down, protract off the back. Deltoid, one muscle, three parts. One of the 17 muscles of the shoulder. Make sure to follow us on Instagram. Check out Belt Buckle Tuesday. Belt Buckle Tuesdays coming at you.